hello guys and assalamu alaikum i have to find you green lab so today i'm going to explore another library or you can say a platform which is ego cloud about video audio call streaming or calling so let's start it without wasting any time so this is the website which they have and it's a pretty cool documentation from where you can learn about different functions about different functionality they are providing with a demo apps also the code which they're providing are really simple and really easy to understand so before jumping directly into the code you can sign up on their website and get the free 10,000 minutes every month as a trial version and you can check it out the documentation about different uh, video audio calling feature and other features which they have mentioned in the documentation for different languages as they listed ios live video calling app with video calling api so you can check it out their code with the great documentation and get your practice and get a uh, application ready by yourself i have simply created my application which have a login a home screen and the video calling feature so let's say i have login uh, i have a login page from where i can uh, put an email and password and then log into my application and just give me a second the password is incorrect so it will, will move me to my home screen yep from the home screen you can simply make a video call or join a video call or uh, same for the audio call so what i'm doing here is let me show you a front end and back end code so you can easily digest or get a practice or you can understand what we are doing here so on the front end i am simply using a library for the instance to create the instance of zigo so this is the library which i'm using in zigo express engine vibrtc and uh, there's a function which is used to create an instance from our uh, library zigo cloud uh, from on on the on the function i am providing uh, app id and then a server id which i will get from the dashboard which i will later on show you about about how you can get these uh, credentials so after that uh, this function will return me the instance then i am moving toward my home screen from where i can join the room or can create a room so on the home screen uh, i just simply create uh, a panel or you can say a model uh, and in this model i have randomly generated a stream id and a room id which is on my front end code which is not related to this library or any backend server so uh, this random stream id and room id is from my room or any room which uh, will be created on from this uh, api calling so you can copy it and provide to any other user which you want that this person you should uh, join the call or want to join the call so after click on this create button the api will be hit and the api is generating token from the back end so this api will be hit with some details which i will uh, giving to the back end server which is here which is room id and server id which i will show you on the front end and on this function on the back end so i'm on the back end using the predefined function which they already mentioned in their documentation this is the function which they mentioned generate token for which required app id user id secret effective times in second and payload app id is already i told you that i will get from the dashboard the user id which i will give you the logged in user in my application which i will give you from the front end then the secret id which already i told you to get it from the dash dashboard then effective time in second which i will provide it that hey after that particular timestamp the token will be expired and need to renew the token or create a new room for our meeting the payload is simply an object which uh, will be using to get extra details to the token so here the code is already on their repo which is this one for node.js they also have for if i can show you the different languages for go c plus java python php.net and node.js so i am using node.js so on the node.js i just simply copy this code and put it in a file in the server and get this token generated token 04 method and using in my backend controller then i can i am getting the token and then providing in the front end uh, to a front end to save it to the front end for the video calling so this is the all on backend and then if i move to the front end so here after clicking on the create button i will join the room with a specific token which i am saving in my application local storage which i can show you from here so i have a detail and uh, i also let me show you also the api which i have hit oh it will not show you. no worries i'll show you later so this is the this is the detail which I've got from the backend API calling type, room ID, room type, stream ID, token, and user ID. So this all detail 
should be provided to the user which want to join uh, so as you can see they have a really good video quality in their video calling so you can also try their audio calling and other uh, application features they are providing so what i'm doing here is on the video calling i just simply get the instance of the zigo cloud library which i have created in my util function here and then getting the room details from this uh, local storage department then i am also getting the odd which user is logged in <coughs> then i have simply created a function for room for create room then i get the device information from this instance dot nm devices which will provide me the how many cameras are available how many microphones are available and etc things like the video uh, code which is i will use later then i will explain it to so i am checking the requirements which is required for this use for for the use of this library which is from this function then if all okay then i move to this function which is called login room the login room will provide or will require some parameter which is room id and then token which i have get from the api which is generate which is uh, like generating token api then the user id and the email this is a uh, totally depend on the user which is logged in and these are the parameter which is totally depend on the room created at that time so with with the room id and with the token so then move it to the next part which is create a stream so by creating the stream you need a camera parameter which have which need to be uh, which need to be provided by some in some uh, parameters like audio input what audio input uh, will be provided or what audio device should be used for your video calling and same for the video so i am predefining or you can say hard coding a, a device which is on a zero index of my microphone which is i get from the device info which i told you earlier from this line and same for the camera and then video audio true then after creating the local history after creating the stream i am creating a local stream which is this one uh, the method should be used for creating a local stream that i am creating a room so i also want to see myself on the screen as well as the, the users which will be uh, which will be published uh, for the remote so remote users so here i am creating a local stream local stream view then uh, saving in the uh, variable and then creating or publishing the stream on the uh, room for other remote users this is start publish streaming method also requires some parameter which is stream id then a local stream which i have saved uh, earlier by creating a stream creating a stream method and then a video code which i have already told you about you can get from this uh, uh, instance dot enum devices i have hard coded it for uh, some time saving then i just simply do is uh, local view dot play which is a method and provided a id which is a element id which I, so this div have a id which is local video streaming container and then i provided this id to this view local view dot play and uh, some parameter which is mirror object fit or enable auto play etc things blah 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 so then what i am doing here is uh calling this uh, uh create room in a use effect which is uh like a component did mount in our class component for react then i move if i move to this and again refresh it and then do it make video it will show me the uh, random again random stream id in room id and it also generate a just give me a second let me show you the api this one yeah, so if i click on hit it will hit the api and in return i will get some data which is token and i'm saving it on the local storage which is here and yeah so this is all you got and so i must say this configuration is really easy and easy to adopt and easy to alter uh, according to your logic implementation for your application so there's a documentation you can explore this documentation they have a really cool and very well written documentation for every features they are providing like video audio calling live streaming and for different languages like iso android mac windows linux web flutter and electron and etc so you can explore this and get a really cool application or you can say really cool sample codes for any language which you want to work 
so check it out their website and get your hands dirty with the practice so also on a dashboard from where you can get your app id and secret id you just need to create an account which and after creating account you will get a 10,000 nuts every month and on your creating a project you will get the app id like this and then go to edit and you can get the app id and then a secret and if you want to generate a token from the dashboard you can just simply click on it and then create give it the user id any user id you want to give like zero and the token will be generated on uh, this dashboard and you can copy the code generated code and put it on the uh, application for testing purpose so so yeah this is nms signing off from this video allah Hafiz.